Hello. Welcome to my new channel Graciative Crafts. This will be my channel for air dry clay making tutorials, tips, techniques. If you share a love for crafting as a hobby, or want to create beautiful handcrafted products as gifts to others, or even sell. Stay tuned to more fun inspirations, ideas, and showcase of my personal handmade products. This channel is meant for anyone who is interested in learning clay making on any level. Let's craft beautiful creations together. Today, we will be making We Bear Bear's Plate. We have the Grizzly Bear, Ice Bear, and Pan Pan. Let's start off with preparing our materials and supplies. Here are what you need to make the clay plates. I am using normal white air dry clay, a 500 gram pack is enough for making 4 to 5 clay plates. You'll need a small bowl or cup of water to moisten the clay when it's dry. A wet cloth or sponge. A rolling pin or any long cylindrical tool to roll the clay. You'll also need round cutters with a big size of 10 to 12 cm for the plate shape and a small size of 3 to 4 cm for the ears. A clay knife. A sharp needle pointed tool or pen. A semi-sharp pencil to sculpt, carve the facial features. A pair of chopsticks. And sandpaper to sand the clay. Lastly, you'll need acrylic paints and a clay varnish. Let's start with making our clay plates. Cut a thickness of about 3 cm depth of clay with your clay knife. This will be enough to make one clay plate. This is where we use all our strength to wedge the clay as hard as you can. Wedging clay helps to get rid of clay bubbles and makes it easier to shape and roll the clay out. Add as much water as you need to when wedging the clay. Fresh clay from the pack is very absorbent and receptive to water. Mix and wedge the clay and water together well so it forms a smooth clay texture. Slowly begin wedging your clay into a large round shaped ball. After it has formed into a smooth desirable shape, press it down hard with your palms. This is when we start to roll the clay out. In order to roll it into the desired thickness, you can use a pair of chopsticks or sticks while rolling on top of the clay. Keep rolling the clay out until it becomes a smooth slab of clay. You might want to flip the clay over several times while rolling it out to prevent it from sticking on the surface. When you find that the clay is starting to dry out or crack at the surface, use a damp cloth or sponge to gently dap and wipe the areas. You can also use a bit of water to smoothen out any blemishes that appears on the clay. When you have finished rolling out the clay to a desired thickness of the plate, mine is about 4 mm thick. It is time to make some light marks on the clay. We use our large sized cutter to press very lightly on the clay surface, to mark the shape of the plate. Then, using the small round cutters to mark the ears. Both circles at the top with a slight distance between them. Again, only a light mark, don't use full force on it. You can use any round shaped items which matches the size of the plate and ears you want. Use the clay knife to slice out the shape following the line markings. Peel off the extra clay layer. Now we have the base shape to make the We Bear Bears design. To make the part of the mouth, I will take a small part of clay from the leftover clay. Take a 3 cm size of clay and roll it into a round oval shape like the nose. To attach the clay piece on, we will score some marks on the back of the piece and then add a bit of water on it. 
Then, doing the same on the area that we will be sticking the mouth on. Place the scored area of the nose onto the scored area of the plate and press it down firmly but gently. Press and hold for about a minute and let the clay fully stick in. We will then take a smaller part of clay for the nose about 0.5 cm and repeat the same step to attach it on the mouth. Since the we bear bears all have this same base shape, we will be using all these same previous steps to make the three designs. We will be making the grizzly bear plate design first. Use the pencil or pointed tool to draw out the facial features of the face. For grizzly bear, I will be drawing out his iconic grinning mouth. When carving out the details, keep your pencil or pointed tool at a slight angle and go over lightly. Keep in mind that you can always use water to go over and smoothen out any mistakes that you make on the clay. Also allow the clay to dry first between the next marking. For the next design, Ice Bear, let's look at how we will be drawing his face. We will be using the same base shape. Let's repeat the same steps from attaching the mouth clay piece and the nose clay pieces together. Ice Bear's face is slightly simpler to carve with his iconic sulky mouth. Let's draw in the details. Don't worry if the carving does not come out as perfectly as we are still able to refine it after it dries. Moving on to the next bear, Pan Pan, we will be repeating the same steps again. We will be drawing in a simple smiling face for him. And for his eyes, we will be adding two large oval circles over it for our adorable panda. Lastly, not forgetting his collar line. So here they are, our clay made designs for the three bears. In order to make our clay piece into a plate, we will put it into these round shaped bowls and leave it to dry for about 24 hours. You might have to press in the clay slightly to form it into the shape of the bowl. Make sure that the bowl you're using has a diameter which is curved enough. You can also use a toilet paper roll to form the shape of the clay plate, by putting your clay piece on top and gently curving the edges into a plate shape. Todder. After leaving it for about a day, our clay plates are ready to sand. While sanding the clay, add some water to the sandpaper. This will help sanding easier and prevent some clay dust. Sand out all the surfaces as thoroughly of any uneven or rough edges.
To further smoothen the surface, I will be using a sanding sponge, with water, to sand the clay out. Here, you can see the difference before and after sanding, where the surface is smooth, shiny and good for painting. After all our clay plates have been sanded into smooth perfection, let's refine the details of the face. This step is for when your carvings are not carved completely or deep enough. We will need deep carvings in order to paint in the details. Using a sharp needle pen, or pointed tool to further deepen the carvings. You might want to use a brush to brush off the excess clay dust. After refining all the details of our clay plates, they are now ready to paint. I will be using acrylic paints to paint them. For painting the grizzly bear, we need brown, black and pink paint. While for ice bear and pan pan, we just need black and white paints. Let's start by painting the whole surface of the plate in their body color. Add a bit of water mixed with the paint and go over in long full streaks. We will be using brown colored paint for grizzly bear, so go ahead to paint the whole plate in this color. For Ice Bear and Pan Pan, we will be covering both of their surfaces with white colored paint. Make sure that the whole surface is covered thoroughly in paint and there is no remaining area that can be seen of the clay. You may need to go over two to three times till the surface is fully covered. After painting over the whole plate, we will paint their facial features using a smaller brush. Make sure to wait a few minutes before the initial layer of paint has dried first before adding a new layer. Using the black paint to fill up the eyes and over their nose. If your paint goes over or comes out onto the plate, use the wet cloth to carefully wipe over the area. Continue using black paint for the rest of Ice Bear's and Pan Pan's mouth. Now, we will have to create grey colour paint for Pan Pan's eyes. I will be mixing one quarter of black paint to three quarters of white paint. Following the lines that you have carved to go over Pan Pan's eye circles, ears, and collar neck.
we used pink paint for the tongue of grizzly bear. You can use a darker grey or brown colour for the inside of the mouth. The teeth is painted white colour. Our clay plates for we bear bears are almost complete. Now, let's leave it to dry fully for about a few hours. You can leave them to dry on top of the toilet paper rolls. Here comes our final step, which is glossing of the clay plates. I am using a Liquitex gloss varnish for acrylic paint. You can use any kind of varnish as long as it is meant for acrylic paint. Adding the varnish layer helps to protect the surface layer of the paint, and also adds the extra satisfying gloss finish to the clay plate. Start first with the inner concave side of the plate. You can choose to pour the varnish directly, or use a large brush or spatula to spread out the varnish onto the surface. Allow the surface to be fully covered evenly. You might have to move the clay plate around like this. After the inner side of the plate is fully varnished, leave it to dry for about three hours. After the first side is fully dried, we move on to the other back side of the plate. Repeat the gloss varnish step. You might want to place it on top of a damp cloth to avoid it sticking on the table surface. Continue leaving it to dry. Keep in mind not to touch or interfere with the gloss when it's starting to settle, as it will ruin the texture. You can then later add in more layers of gloss varnish, if you'd like it to be thicker. It is recommended to do about two to three layers for good protection. Remember to leave at least three hours in between. Our We Bear Bears clay plates are finally finished. These clay plates are the cutest, you can use them as trinket dish plates for your accessories. They are also perfect as gifts for your friends and family. Thank you for staying throughout this tutorial lesson with me and I hope you like the end result too. If you have any questions or doubts, feel free to pop in the comments section and I will be happy to help you. Be sure to check out my social media accounts and give a follow. For newest updates and more content. The links to my Instagram and website shop is down below. Subscribe to my channel as I will be posting frequently from now on, of clay tutorials, tips and fun videos. See you again!